Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steers, and today, chums, for you guys in the view of us, I'm going to be talking a little bit about No Man's Sky and the Echoes update that's going to be dropping. I'm hoping this week could be next, but I am hoping this week, people. Anyways, I'm just going to be going over what my current thoughts and rationale are behind what could be inside of this update. So I'm just going to keep it to one narrative for this one. I am going to be doing my Monday members mooch sort of video. I don't know whether this is going to come out before that. But anyways, let's hit on up the interwebs, shall we, people? So jumping over to the interwebs. There I am on the interwebs. You can see here James M.C. On the 20th of August, there you go, at 1 p.m. UK time. So that was a good 24 hours ago now, people. But yes, here we go. Never noticed that before. Question mark, Tassian, question mark. Yeah, and he's trying to get to the, the point that Sean Murray's tweet has got question mark, echoes, question mark on it. So could there be some sort of tie-in to the Echoes update and what it might mean for abandoned sisty arms. So, yeah, and so, uh, so oh, where's, where's, where's my post gone? I did have a post. Yeah, so here we go. Will droid like NPCs appear in the abandoned systems for Echoes? And there you go, I'll put the Echoes in the question marks. And I pointed out the same thing that they did for me. There you go, the Spas Station. So this isn't something I noticed. This is something that James MC noticed and brought to my attention. And then I went over onto YouTube's. And uh, I created a post over on the old YouTubes on my community tab, as I normally do. I normally put things on my community tab just as often as I do Twitter now, people. So if you haven't already subscribed to me, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you should get notified when I put things on here as well. So yes, and I put here as well about, you know, thank you, James MC, for pointing out that the abandoned space stations have question marks either side of their game label, just like the Echoes tease from Sean. And I put up some uh, screenshots just to show what I'm on about there because it's not all that intuitive to be fair is it but yeah there are like three screenshots inside that bevy I'm not too sure oh there we go there's an arrow there Spastacion you get the idea it also says welcome home there so could we be getting station ownership coming into the verse people I'm wondering whether because it's an abandoned system and there's no creatures on the planets and we've been given this wonders catalogue that we can't do much with right now, whether we can actually populate some of these planets with some of our bestest of finds is what I'm wondering. Or I'm wondering whether if you go into a normal space station now, whether using the station override will give you the chance to turn it into a space station B and it becomes almost like an abandoned space station. I think they're going to get an overhaul as well. But maybe these abandoned space stations are going to be more aligned to the Void Mother than the Atlas. And maybe that's how we're going to be doing factional type work, is aligning ourselves to either or, and maybe using station overrides to sort of change the balance in the systems. That's kind of what I'm thinking, people. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Anyways, I did a whole mock-up on this idea, people. So let me jump over into... There we go into Photoshop. So I was up till about one in the morning putting all this together rather than make a video because I'm going to be doing my members mooch. I'm going to be covering this off in a lot more detail later on. So scrolling down here, Echoes introduction to update 5.0. Yes, 5.0 Echoes brings autophage NPCs to life in abandoned systems. Just like I was just mentioning earlier. The Echoes will call these systems home. Planets have become former Echoes of their older cells and the planets are sentient, much like Corvax Prime once was, all of them gaining echoes from the Void Mother. Attempting to gain resources is seen as an act of murder upon the majority of these worlds. There are, however, barren moons that can be used to gather and build bases upon. The Void Mother sees all and can dispatch sentinel forces should you not comply. So yeah, a little bit of a taster of the old sort of generation when it comes to terrain, also the colour palettes and the, the textures for the planets, a little bit like the art, old sort of art style as well as some, perhaps some new art styles too, perhaps some new water textures and water physics, perhaps even waterfalls, that'd be lovely. But what I'm thinking is you can't build on the planets or gain resources from them or else sentinels are going to turn up in waves. But you can on the moons. I'm thinking this, this these systems, because they're going to be far more complex and they're going to have, you know, wavy, davy, snake-like structures upon the actual planet's surface, then perhaps base building would have to be restricted and complexity kept to a finite minimum. Righto. 
planets. Terrain from previous iterations of the simulations can be found in these systems, along with colour palettes textures of the surfaces, like I was just mentioning. You may also encounter Fauna, seen in trailers from Loop 19. So yeah, you know, like the E3 sort of time and stuff like that. Because we've been putting echoes into Simulation 19, perhaps now we're going to start seeing those echoes appearing inside of our own verse, inside of the abandoned systems, is where I'm going with this. Heck yes. And the last simul in the last um, expedition, when we went to the back room inside the Nexus and we was uploading the echoes, they weren't the normal sort of base simulation that we put them into. I think it's four or something. We had to put them into 19, which is the Void Mother's sort of realm. So perhaps we've built some of that back. So use echo locator locators at points of interest to find these majestic fauna lost in time to echoes of the past. Their echoes can be found in ancient bones in abandoned systems. So just like now, we've got those two planet types, like the ancient bones planets and also the salvage tech planets. Each of those now are going to give you either ancient sort of DNA for older creatures lost to time, perhaps rhinos that smash trees, majestic diplos, and all manner of other creatures, perhaps some droid creatures, perhaps, you know? And yes, and you can unlock those and put them onto these abandoned welts, is what I'm thinking, if we can't populate it with our catalogue sort of stuff. Also, the technology, like the incinerator and other sorts of technology, can be found from um, collecting the, the salvage technology on those planets too. And yes, you take them to the construct on the Nexus, that little Spider-Man, or the man's spider, as I call him, Talk to him, give him what you've found in these salvage technologies, and he'll rebuild them into usable modules for you and your mates. Heck yes. Ship customization. So I'm thinking that inside these abandoned systems, there's far more planets and chance of finding the boundary failures. If you've got yourself a living ship, you can activate one of these boundary failures and fly through into the void to actually find new ship parts for your living ship. But not only that, I'm also thinking perhaps in those systems, if you go inside of a station or something like that, you can then scrap your ships. This is very much end gamey type stuff for people that have pretty much done everything and they've actually venturing into the void and into these abandoned systems. So yeah, there's all the, all the write up here about ship customization. I have put all this all over on the old Reddit space, but going down a little bit further, you can sell your ships and your multi tours. Yeah, I'd love to be able to scrap or sell my multi tours because I have got an abundance of the things. Yeah, and there's also a living ship and void raids, like I was mentioning earlier, that you can go into the void. Now I'm thinking you can go in there for 16 minutes per day. You know, like how you can get quicksilver sort of things that sort of go ramp up to three? Well, maybe you get three of these actually. So 16, 16, 16. You can go into it for 16 minutes three times. Yeah, and you can put them all in together or just do them one at a time, depending on how you want to do it. So yeah, essentially, you could have 50, uh, 45 minutes in the old void each day if you want and do a raid and go aboard the dark freighter and slowly get echoes of Ariadne. And maybe we might be able to rebuild the real Ariadne back on our actual um, anomaly. Because that one we've got there now is an imposter, people. Imposter. I guess. I'm also thinking with the AIs of the NPCs, you may have seen this mod for the Matrix where you can talk to an NPC and they actually talk back. So as you talk, it turns it to text and then that turns it back into speech. So it takes a bit of time inside of that mod. However, maybe Hello Games might implement that. So inside of all of the abandoned systems right now, there are no NPCs. However, inside of the game files, the structure done a video on this. I put a link to the structure's video up there. But he's found a robot NPC that's got a staff in its hand. And it's it's pretty darn freaking gnarly. I'll see if I can find it, people, over on the old YouTubes. Let's jump onto YouTubes and let's just type in the structure NPC. The structure NPC. There you go. It's already on my search history because I've referenced this video a few times now. Let's just click it and let's just hope it jumps us straight to where I want it to be as well. We'll just mute that. Yeah, there we go. That's the actual example of the NPC. You can see it's got this big spear in its hand, untextured at the moment. But yeah, look at it. It's, it's wearing clothes and all sorts of shenanigans. Looks pretty darn freaking sweet, doesn't it? Heck, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Awesome. So, yeah, I'm wondering whether they might be given AI language certs. You know, it's just going to be Vox code. But maybe we can talk to it as their own convergence and get actual replies back, which would be kind of groundbreaking and awesome. Hello Games does like to push the boundaries and the moulds of what we see inside of normal game. 
And that definitely would do that. Heck yes, it would. But that's kind of a nicety. I'm also thinking, like I said earlier, the station overrides might let you override a normal space station and turn it into a void mother-like sp space station of sorts. Whether that turns it into the same sort of stations in abandoned systems, whether those abandoned system stations are going to get an overhaul, I don't know. But that's where I'm going with this, people. My actual theory on speculation right now is it's going to be an overhaul to the abandoned systems inside of No Man's Sky of what we see now. And over on my community tab, I have done a little mini quick summary of what I think it's going to be. So here we go. This is what I think the actual update might entail. Abandoned systems gain robot NPCs. Abandoned stations can be repaired and echoes restored to AI NPCs. After repair, stations become Station B style, Void Mother style stations. Station overrides convert normal stations to Station B style Void Mother. Planets in the systems gained all terrain, styles, textures and colours. More droid fauna can be added in these systems and of course you can you can collect older style uh, fauna as well through doing echoes, through digging up fossils and stuff. And I think that's kind of well, that's kind of where I think my mindset is right now. There's other forks in the road, though, people. I've done lots of different polls. So tonight's video, I'm going to be going over all the different polls inside of the Monday Members Mooch that you guys have been taking part in and giving the results and feedback on all these polls to get a general gist of when the update's going to land, what you think will be in it, what you think won't be in it. Yeah, I've got polls for pretty much everything. So we're going to be going to town with polls later, people. Oh, yes, we are. But I just wanted to get this out there, set in stone that this is my current sort of rationale in thinking. I've made a giant freaking mock-up that's on Twitter and it's also on the Reddit space around this idea. I hope you think it's got legs. I hope you don't think this is too tinfoil a hatty and that it has got actual um, merit, you know? Do you think this is possible? Sound off in the comments. Let us know. If you've enjoyed this video, I enjoy making them. Hit that subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you very much, people inside of the viewerverse. Whew. I need to go get myself a cup of tea now. I should have made one and had it here. This could have been a cup of tea with Captain Steve video, but no, this is speculation. Extreme. Yeah, and it's just a, a little mini synopsis of where my mindset is. I honestly think this has got the biggest amount of merit. There's one other thing that I want to mention, people. Now, it could be that those question marks either side of Echoes isn't a hint at um, what's going to be inside this update. And we could be going up the garden path with this whole question marks on the station thing. It could be that those question marks are alluding to what the next expedition name might be, because no one's actually said when we get in an update, we have an expedition. So could it be that that's a hint at the expedition name? You know what? I'm going to put together another poll of what I think expedition names could be if it's based on the question mark or if it's based on current theme, which seems to be sort of musical notes in a roundabout way or the singularity. So I'm thinking stuff like resonance or um, reverb or something like that, you know, like an echo and reverb, kind of similar, you know? Yeah. Anyway, I'll be putting two polls up. One on question mark and one on current themes. I guess. Until next time, people, you've all been awesome. Salute Amanda. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.